Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play as a lane on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install as a lane and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play as a lane. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, the first thing to do is to open our main web browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to that URL I'm highlighting in green. Now, you can discover on the PC screen. You don't need to type anything, because there's a clickable link in the description of this video and the first pinned comment. We arrived right here on the website of Usatility, where we find here a detailed outline on how to download and install Azalane on computer. We browse down a little bit and then click on the download game on PC button. After we click on the link, we get to the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we will use to get access to this game as a lane on PC. As you can see here we have several pros of using the emulator. Then, we will start downloading the as a lane by clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on it. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It's an executable file. What we have to do is to run the installer, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the device. We have said yes. I reduce the browser to start to see the installer better. The installation software is very simple. It is made up of a couple of options, install and setup path. I am going to talk about what setup path does. We purely simply click on it. And now we observe that we end up with here the path where the emulator will be set up. If we wish to vary this directory we are required to click on the Browse button and we decide on another folder and install the emulator exactly where we want. I prefer to keep it by default. I simply click back and therefore I simply click on Install. Great! The installation begins and it is going to proceed with the download of all these megabytes which are displayed on that screen. When you save it on your machine, it is likely to be a little bit more or less megabytes. The download speed can be at a higher speed or slower, depending on your web access and depending on the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they are running super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has been started automatically. As you will notice, down here, there's a progress bar that will fill up and once it reaches the finish, the emulator will be launched for the first time. Believe it or not the emulator was already started, there for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can observe, it created a couple of icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is going to be the one we are interested in. Anytime we desire to start as a lane on our PC, we double mouse click on that icon and start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should perform the following step, which is a must, and that is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As can be seen the Google Play is launched. At this point we have to sign in. Right now as soon as we're here, we must conduct the following step that is definitely mandatory. Therefore we click on Sign In. At this point it says, checking info. It might sometimes get stuck in, checking info, that's why it does not progress. In that case, you could attempt to log in in after a few hours and it will surely almost certainly be resolved. At this point we will provide our email address and password. The email is required to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. As an example you may use the same email you use currently in your YouTube account. Therefore I am going to type in my details and I will come back when I have accomplished it. That's all, details typed. Discover Google welcoming us and offering us the terms of service. We can say yes to them simply by clicking on, I agree. After that, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. 
you can leave it checked it's going to generate a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you can utilize that feature if you wish. We click on Accept. The Google Play Store is launched automatically and automatically. To install the application, we need to browse the emulator desktop for Android by clicking on the icon marked in green. Today that we are watching the desktop of this emulator for Android, we see that we have there the install game option. We then click on the button. Right here we get the Android game. So let's click here on the install link that I'm displaying now in green. Therefore it will begin the software setup. Now it will download on your laptop or computer and install the game app. It may take a bit of time or it may be very fast. It again all is dependent upon on our web connection. It has by then completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by hitting this specific button that I am highlighting in green, so that you can launch as a lane for the very first time. I am by now on the emulator desktop, and so we are going to just click the new as a lane app icon which was created. That video game is started for the first time. There we have it. I am able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the volume level of that emulator. It is here. We use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this manner we don't depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of the emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the greatest, we can turn on the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. That is the first one, we click on this app icon that I am designating in green. Then the screen is maximized, offering one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In the case that we really want to have fun with the game in full screen, we mouse click on this game icon and we might presently be experiencing and enjoying the game in full screen function. To exit the 100% screen functionality, press the F11 key. And we might now play in normal screen mode. At this moment I am starting to demonstrate to you the keyboard mapping which is certainly very exciting. This means we will be able to operate the game application more easily. The first task is to press this keyboard icon. And right now there you will be able to get the necessary configurations. I will put the normal configuration, though if you prefer to change it, you may well do so without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is totally in our own language. On occasion it happens that the emulator is presented in the wrong language, for instance, in Chinese. So to set it in the appropriate language we go here to the cogwheel. So here inside of other settings, we click the language drop down. We could go for the language we need, English, Mandarin, etc. Once the language is chosen, we are going to save, the emulator will restart, along with the game, next time we launch it, will also be in the preferred language. Right now, there's another information that we must take into account, and this is that we will receive an email telling you that a new machine has been connected to our Google account. It will certainly question us if we are the ones who have connected that electronic device. Yes, we really should not worry, since the emulator is emulating a Google Android device. And then to discover which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we come here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. And so we go here to the, model, choice. And here we see that the emulator is emulating a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for our tutorial. I hope you appreciated it, especially that everyone found it interesting. If that's the case, give it a good thumb up, subscribe, and any comments, questions or ideas, leave them in the comment area below. You may also comment things on my Twitch channel, I do live streams occasionally, you get it below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Click on any of the video tutorials that happens to be appearing on the computer screen and see you in the upcoming video tutorials. Bye.